pipeline spill occurred in County Line, Oklahoma. The occurrence spilled over 100 barrels of extremely heavy crude. As you can see, the oil completely surrounded the tank battery. Superall and water, mixed in a one part superall to seven parts water, was used to clean the contamination. The first step for this cleanup is to introduce a blend of heated superall and water through a high pressure sprayer. The equipment and ground areas are sprayed with the mixture. The rainbow effect in the rinse indicates the breaking down and emulsification of the oil contamination. Note the dramatic difference as the project is being completed. There is no rainbow in the runoff. All equipment, piping, vegetation, and soil has been cleaned using the 100% natural surfactants which form Superall. El Campo, Texas was the scene of a 350 barrel oil spill. The liquids flowed into a nearby irrigation canal. Because this canal discharged into navigable waters, containment procedures were implemented. The area was washed down with a mixture of one part superall and eight parts water. A vacuum truck was used to siphon the rinse. Because of the 100% natural surfactants and their ability to effectively and completely break down the hydrocarbon, the final rinse met the regulatory requirements allowing it to be used for irrigation purposes. Another superall cleanup site was near Tatum, New Mexico. Years and years of oil leakage had left both ground and equipment covered with heavy oil. To determine depth, severity, and type of contaminant, core samples were taken. The analysis verifies that the contaminant is strictly non-hazardous oil field waste. To achieve maximum efficiency of the cleanup, a mixture of one part superall to eight parts water is used to wash the compressors from top to bottom. The surrounding surface area was tilled and sprayed with superall and water. Tilling was repeated with a final freshwater rinse. Note the results of this procedure leaves the equipment and soil clean and without a hydrocarbon sheen.
The pit you are about to see closed reflects 20 years of weathered, high paraffin-based crude. This site presents a unique situation in that the oil's composition provides a pour point of 105 degrees, a depth in excess of six and a half feet, and dimensions of 50 feet by 150 feet. Previous laboratory testing confirms that the contamination is classified as non-hazardous oil field waste. A blend of one part superall to eight parts water is heated and sprayed into the soil. To achieve maximum penetration and contact with the mixture, a track hoe is used to co-mingle and push fresh, fresh soil into the contaminated area. This technique allows Superall's 100% natural surfactants the ability to effectively break down the hydrocarbon contamination. The following is a recap of the procedure used for the closure. One, a blend of heated Superall and water is sprayed onto the contaminated area. In this instance, heat is used to facilitate the breakdown of the high paraffin-based oil. The mixture ratio will vary on a site-specific basis. Two, the Superall blend is thoroughly mixed with the contamination. Three, appropriate mechanical equipment is utilized for mixing and introducing clean soil. Four, the process is repeated as necessary. This closure was accomplished in approximately 15 hours. Sampling protocols indicate the hydrocarbon levels are well below 3% without freestanding product. This is well below regulatory requirements. The soil washing technique that you are about to see is being accomplished through on-site land farming. The operator on this Utah facility desired to remove the contaminated soil from the pit and clean the contamination on the adjacent surface area. The first step is to spread the contaminated dirt in a semicircle. As you can see, the oil being treated is dark, black paraffin-based crude. After the soil is spread, a hot oil truck with water at 180 degrees and a mixture of one part superall to eight parts water is utilized to spray the liquid onto the contaminated soil. Once the soil is sprayed with superall, the exposed hydrocarbons begin to break down. After the introduction of Superall with the hot water to melt the paraffin in the oil, a mechanical means is utilized to blend the mixture. This further exposes the hydrocarbons to the Superall. Notice how quickly the oil blackened rocks clean up. Actually, only two pieces of equipment are needed for this type of on-site land farming. A water truck with heat and pressure capabilities and equipment capable of soil movement. This type of remediation is readily performed when sufficient surface area is available adjacent to the cleanup site. This technique eliminates the costly expense of transporting non-hazardous oil field waste to a disposal facility. After treatment, the clean soil is scraped back into the site and another section of contaminated soil is excavated for treatment. Samples taken before, during, and after the treatment of this site verify that the hydrocarbon levels have dropped dramatically from 15% to less than one half percent. Quite a dramatic reduction. This reduction took place in less than 24 hours.